Right, hi again YouTubers, this is my uh, reef tank now that I've upgraded again to a Aquamarine uh, 900 from um, Aqua One. Just showing you basically all the colours, how bright, how everything's turning out in there. I've got my male clownfish separated from the female because at the minute She's just starting to host my anemone at the bottom here and she doesn't like him going anywhere near it so she's just ripping him apart. But the, the purpose of this uh, video is just to show you this anemone here. Basically what happened was a couple of weeks ago I found him at the corner of the tank with a massive hole straight through the middle of it, straight down from its, through its mouth and through its foot. I did quite a bit of research on the internet and uh, pretty much everyone on there said it's going to die, it's dead, get rid of it. And I thought, you know, I'm not prepared to do that, you know, it's a lovely, lovely invertebrate, don't really want to do it. So I literally popped him in the breeding trap, right up near the top of the tank, um, right under the lights pretty much, fed him every two days. As soon as, well, fed him every two days, it's part of me. Basically, I just let, let, left him in there, left it to its own device. Within a week, it healed its foot and its mouth. So I then fed it up for a couple days. Um, as you can see from here, it's really white at the moment. It's got rid of all of its good um, algae inside, you know, the symbolic algae that it has. It's basically projected it. At the moment, I'm feeding it every two to three days, roughly, and uh, it's slowly getting its, pim its uh, pigmentation back, slowly getting some colour. So if you ever find an anemone with a rip straight through the middle of it, don't just go and bin it. Keep them in your tank, pop it in a breeding trap, just keep an eye on it because there is still a possibility that it could die. But I was lucky enough and fortunate enough that um, it healed itself, basically. And there it is down there, my clownfish loves it. I will do an update shortly to uh, show you when it's fully back in its full health. Like I said, it's only been a few weeks now. And it's perking up. I mean, the other day it was really tiny. And as you can see for yourself, it's, well, <laughs> it's a bit of an awkward angle there. It's uh, a fair size. You know, but yeah, apart from that, this is uh, my tank. I have got a question now. If anyone out there knows why my uh, torch coral here just doesn't seem to want to come out at all, if there's any um, possibilities of why this may be, if you could just pop a comment, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye now.